Children, grab your pillow, and parents, grab your lighter. Make yourself real cozy, because we're pulling in a lighter. It's a podcast about the fairy tales you've heard many, many times. This time will be different, because we're stoned out of our minds. So spark up a bowl, and tuck yourselves in. Once Upon a Dime is about to begin. young by fire um yeah so this starts back in back in the day uh Jebus and St. Peter were walking uh, on the earth at this point um and they come to a smith's house Mr. Smith uh, gladly accepted them in and after some time, after a while, a beggar um, comes to the, the door. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's old and uh, sick, and he's, he doesn't have any like, money, so he, he begs this, this Smith, Mr. Smith, uh, for some money, I guess. Mr. St. Peter, he suggests to Jeebus that... Uh, you should you should fix this guy so he can go work and earn bread for himself. And Jesus is like, I would gladly do that. It sounds like I, sounds like a plan. I think that's a good idea. Good idea. Good thinking, Saint Peter. So he asks Mister Smith to make a fire, and he does. He gets the fire going, and Saint Peter blowing up the the he's blowing up the 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 fire and then he pushes uh, the old man into the fire and and then he screams praises to, <laughs> to, to God and then Jebus takes uh, the old man and puts him in the cooling tub yep gotta cool down yeah so he can solidify <laughs> and uh and then he All his wrinkles will be tight. Dunks the old man into the cooling tub and like blesses him uh, with like godly words and, and stuff. And then, not a moment later, he jumps out of the tub as a young man, looking like he's twenty. It's all spry. They go. The Smith watched everything that happened. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. All right. So he was watching it like a hawk and he took notes and he put the notes in his noggin and he asked them to have all to have dinner together uh, so they did went back to Smith's house and, and they had, had dinner together and and uh, now Mr. Smith he had with, this really old lady no, his I, mom his mom in law so really he, old crippled lady <laughs> they're having dinner and, and his mom in law uh, asks the asks the young old man what uh how it felt and if it hurt and and he said no I've never felt better and so they finished off the night and those the words that he said ring in her ears now she's like I want I I want to do that you know that that's mm-hmm. something that I wish I could be young and strong and and uh this smiths you know in the night and jebus and saint peter they they're off they're walking the earth again and uh smith's like you know what everything that i saw last night that was that was based on like my skills Mm -hmm. that's something i can do Every day. That's my yeah. That's my job. What what he did, if I follow that process, I should be able to do better because I am a Smith. I took awesome notes. I took awesome notes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he asks his mama, his mama, if uh, if she wanted to be eighteen again. She wanted to be young and vibrant and beautiful and 18 mm-hmm. and she's like yes I do 
And he's like, you trust me? <laughs> he starts up that fire and he throws to- her in. Tosses her in. And she screams and screams and screams of pain. And agony and, and murder. She's basically screaming, someone help me. My son-in-law is a murderer. He threw me into a fire and I'm being burned alive. And he's like, sit still. Uh, I don't know why you're screaming. Why are you screaming? All of a sudden, these kids come running out. Sister and his and his wife. And they come running out to see why they're screaming. And then he pulls the old lady out of the fire and throws her in some ice water to cool her off. You know, because that's what you do. That's what you do. And then the sister and wife looked down, and they were so horrified on a totally different level than any person's ever been horrified ever because they were so horrified by the sight. They freak out and go into labor, like right then. They both have boys, but the boys are ape-like. They're more ape than man. Run into the forest and create the ape race. Close the chapter on this episode until we meet again. And so the story goes, we turn the page to find the end.